Hello folks, Jim here with the Twin Home Experts. Today we're going to show you how to clear a drain, shower drain, that has standing water. I know it's frustrating sometimes. You try a plunger um, and that doesn't work. You try Drano, that doesn't work. So, um, first thing you're going to need is a couple screwdrivers, depending on the screws that, uh, that you have for your particular shower drain, either standard or Phillips. In this case, we went ahead and removed, for the purpose of this video, we removed uh, the screws. You're going to need a good clean rag, a uh, flashlight, and uh, here's the actual key here, is the uh, wet dry vac. So in this case, you want to remove the filter. Uh, you just want to make sure that it's removed so you can extract any water that we're about to do. So uh, let me show you exactly what the cause of shower drain stoppages are. So go ahead and come on in closer. You want to remove uh, the, the drain here. And as you can see here, a lot of this is hair, uh, soap. So this is exactly what the cause of the stoppages are. Typically, they're right around here. Um, so let me go ahead and show you what that looks like after it's cleaned. So if you do have standing water, the first thing you wanna do is extract the topical water that's above the drain. So we've already done that in this case, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and show you now uh, what it's like to clean all of that gunk. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn the, uh, the vacuum on. There are times where you're going to have to use a rotor snake if, in fact, the, the compaction is further down. Because the way the shower is, you've got your drain, and there's a P-trap, and then there's an extension. So if the pipe has a uh, stoppage or compaction down further, then the vacuum may not be able to get it. But about 95% of the time, a vacuum will do the trick. And as you can see here, it worked. Well, folks. Thanks for watching.